This video is a um, hitting practice that I had with Cyril. Um, Cyril is from Holland, he's from Amsterdam, and I came across him at a, um, a tennis event in Chiang Mai and I saw him play and he's, he's a really good player, like very, very high level player. And he used to play uh, on the Futures circuit, which is, you know, an incredibly high level. So yeah, I saw him play and he was very impressive. So I was like desperate to try and have a hit with him at some point, just to see, you know, what it felt like and whether I could, you know, stay in a rally with him. Um, so I was really excited about this one. And uh, yeah, we got to hit for an hour and, these are these are kind of some of the highlights from that, and he was very kind as well. He gave me lots of advice and tips um, as we were going along, and things that I could try during the the hitting practice. So it was really really good fun and um, great for learning and improving as well. So let's see how we get on. One thing I notice, um, you know, when hitting with the high level players, like coaches or surreal, is the amount of spin they can generate and how quickly they can change the tempo, like there, you know, all of a sudden, that was a really powerful shot he hit there. So they can go from kind of, you know, using a lot of spin, like high over the net, to like very powerful flat shots and they can just mix it up which makes it you know you have to really concentrate because you never really know what kind of ball is going to come back um, whereas players you know more at my level it's you know it's much more predictable consistent um, maybe consistent's not the right word but like it's much more predictable what type of shot you're going to receive whereas with the guys like Surreal and you know coaches like Fang and Charles it's it's very varied the kind of shot they can hit, like the way they shape the ball, the amount of spin, the amount of power. So it's uh, it's great fun to try and hit with because you really have to concentrate. power on that backhand there from Surreal. Yeah, it was great to hit with him. He was very positive, uh, very supportive and encouraging, you know, he's given me a lot of encouragement and a lot of confidence. Something else that is very noticeable when playing a, a high level player is just how easy they make it look when they move. Um, you'll see Surreal here, he's very light on his feet. It's like, it never looks like an effort to move around. Like, he covers the ground very quickly and it looks, I'm sure it's not effortless, but it looks effortless. Yeah, another thing I noticed is, you know, when facing a really good slice, it's like really difficult to judge. And quite often I would hit the ball into the net because I wouldn't expect it to stay as low as it does.
one of the tips he was giving me was to, to make sure that I'm, you know, rotating my shoulders through the shot on my forehand. Make sure I'm not just, not just using my arm. And then we were practicing on the backhand, trying to do like backhand um, cross to each other. And one of the tips that he was giving me for the backhand is really to try and step into the core, you know, and if necessary, take it early like that one and that one on the half volley. Because like there, that last one, because my body weight is moving backwards, it's very hard to actually generate any power, so often the backhand will then go into the net. Whereas if I'm kind of leaning or stepping into the court, it's uh, much easier to generate the power, <laughs> unlike that one. Yeah, it gave me a lot of confidence on my backhand hitting with surreal. I have a lot of problems with my backhand, but I was timing it quite well. I was, you know, getting a decent amount of topspin on it, decent amount of power. Another uh, tip he was giving me about the forehand was to try and uh, load on my right leg more. So kind of bend down at the knee so that I can kind of drive my hip through forward into the core from that um, right leg to really kind of generate more power in the forehand. Rather than, you know, standing just very upright Which is a really good tip. <laughs> I overdid that last one a bit. You can see me there just trying to um, remember to really rotate my shoulders.
good shot, that one. Not sure how I managed to get that back. <laughs> but you can see how, you know, every now and then, Surreal will just pick up the pace on his shot and like suddenly it comes at you so fast. Um, you really have to react quickly to it. And I noticed a lot of the time, you know, I wouldn't prepare quickly enough because I'm not really used to facing shots of that power. Um, I would just prepare too slowly and then I would catch the ball late. So another thing I need to work on is just, you know, judging the pace of the ball coming towards me so that I can react much quicker and prepare faster if I need to. Got me again with that slice. It's really hard to judge the spin on that slice. Shot. <laughs> oh, he stepped it up there. See, I'm starting to get quite tired now. Because it's really noticeable, even just, you know, not even playing points, but when you're just having a rally with somebody much better, you know, it's quite tiring because you really have to. Um, work hard to, to get the ball back because the ball's coming at you with pace or it's coming at you with spin. You know, you have to be moving your feet a lot more to get into the right position. You know, you've got less time. So everything just kind of feels more exhausting uh, in a really good way, but yeah, very tiring. hitting the backhand. You know, there's a couple of nice backhands there, just kind of catching it on the on the rise and you know timing it well. So yeah, it's giving me a lot of confidence. Oh, I didn't quite get that one right. <laughs> Was the end of the hitting session so we we hit for an hour and wow it felt like three hours it was so tiring um but i absolutely loved it it was so much fun and i know you know he's taking it easy but it's just so good for the confidence to know that you can rally with somebody of that level um it was fantastic and i learned a lot about you know rotating my shoulders loading that that right leg on the forehand backhand just stepping into the shot stepping into the court you know, making sure the body weight is going forward. So it was, you know, great tips and advice from Surreal. And um, yeah, I absolutely loved it. It was really, really good fun. And I, I hope we can do it again soon. <laughs>